All right, guys, we're playing some Nessus top lane. We're playing Nessus versus Warwick, and what we have is Fleet, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Sense. We're also running Biscuits, and then we're also running Cosmic together with D-Shield and Ghost. Now, this game, I'm going to showcase you how to 1v9. So, we're actually running into a pretty tough matchup this time. Well, probably as you guys recognize, Warwick top lane has been incredibly strong, man. Like, fortunately, though, Nessus is the type of champion that will counter this guy. We can permanently scale with Qs. And on top of that, we can basically slow him down permanently with W. So, Warwick is not going to be as effective this game. Nice. So, we'll simply let Warwick slow push into me. That's totally fine with me. If he wants to go for the cheat or recall, he can do that. Like, that's okay. Um, Nessus is... Obviously, a little bit weaker uh, at level 1 in comparison to Warwick. So, you just want to respect him. I think he might even go for a rotation already. If that's the case, like, I'm all for it. Because the wave is, like, bouncing my direction. If he's going to roam towards mid lane, uh, mid lane right now, then he's going to lose a massive portion of the XP, which will already put me ahead in the matchup. Yep, seems like he went roaming. It really does not matter if he gets that kill or not. If he gets the kill, I'm all for it. Like, that's fine. Ooh, will he die? That's a terrible mistake. Alright, so here comes a little bit of an issue that we have right now. So, in theory, the best way to play it out right now is to slow push the wave or we'll hard push the wave into the tower and then make him lose a lot of farm, right? Typically, that's the way how you would want to play it. But Nasus in the early game, just like any other champion, does not have enough wave clear to push the lane that fast. So rather than um, hard pushing it, we're just end up like slow pushing it instead and making him deny as much of the XP as possible. Now what happens is I can press E on this wave. Check this out. There you go. Slow him down. All we have to do is push this under tower and my lane is gonna look really good. Oh, it seems like we're being ganked right now. Sidestep. Might in fact even get a kill right now. Who knows? Because uh, I have Morgana on the way too. That's like another Q. I'm not able to move. At least not that easily. Um, this is going to come down to my jungle right now. I hope that Morgana lives. I hope that this guy lives on. This wave cannot stay like that. I need to shove this in. I don't have a choice. This must shove in. Because otherwise my lane is going to be a disaster. There you go. I automatically win lane right now. Even though my team is at a disadvantage right now. Even if Warwick gets kills right now, my lane is unbelievably good because it gets on our tower. It's a cannon wave too. So check this out. Um, we'll just go ahead and got, uh, get the Lucidity Boots. Nice. So you can see Warwick just got a kill right now. But the difference is that this guy is level 3. I'm level 5 right now. There's a 2 level gap. All right. Even though this guy's one kill, look at this insane, massive difference. On top of that, this guy's running barrier. I'm running teleport. I have items. This guy has no teleport. He can't. He doesn't even have items yet. So, Warwick's lane is officially over. I win. It doesn't matter if this guy gets a kill or not. Now I can let the wave bounce my direction, or I can just thin it out. There you go. I got the city boots, so my Qs are stacking up like crazy too. There you go. See why lane matters more than kill sometimes? Sometimes you need to make that decision like, am I going to let the wave go down and uh, fall behind? Or do I let my opponent roam, pray that my teammates are going to get stay alive, and then win automatically? This is so important, guys. This is so important because right now this wave is crushing this wave too, which means that my lane is uh, my uh, my uh, advantage is even expanded more right now. So that's a massive like XP gap right now, even more massive than it was before I got to lane. Space of warden here. I'm gonna hold the wave. Holding the wave in this position is really good. 
because it allows me to Q safely. There you go. He's level 4, I'm level 6, so I have the advantage. Only problem is that Warwick is capable of healing up. And walk away from it. And he's very much dead right now. GG. See? So even though Warwick got a kill before, right? Does not matter. Absolutely matters zero. Because I actually got to crush him afterwards. So kills don't matter in this case. It absolutely does not matter. I have 105 stacks right now. We're only 7 minutes in. We continue stacking because I got teleport. There's no, uh, there's no rush. Alright, there's a last hit. That's my bad. We'll make sure to cue the cannon too, by the way. Definitely uh, worth noting here. I'll save my cue for the cannon just so I can get the get it for sure. Again, Warwick is useless right now. It's absolutely he's absolutely done. There you go, slow him again. Seems like I'm getting ganked by an Ivern. Guess it's an Ivern saving the lane, I guess. Nice. Go back to stacking, as always. And there you go. We can see getting those. We can TP, by the way. We have TP advantage, too. So even though we're we're low mana right now, it does not matter. It doesn't affect their lane right now. Stack that one. Okay, so now it's time. We're going to reset. And we're actually going to get Sheen and then use it with all of the stacks that I just gained. Seems like he's going to try and prevent it. Sure. I have no mana, so I can't help my, uh, I can't help my jungler. I hope that my uh, jungler is not um, bad. Because I don't want to lose even more here. Alright, cool. He backed off. I'm very happy he did. Nice. So the only job right now is to sh uh, shove this wave under tower. And that's really it. I pinked this jungler back like one minute ago. I don't know why he continues going, but it is what it is. Um, junglers like this, they make a terrible call. Just ignore them. It's okay. Alright, so... First things first, what we're going to buy is obviously Sheen. We need to get the Sheen. Uh, very important. We're also going to go into the Warhammer. Warhammer is insanely, insanely important right now. Because um, it actually adds up even more cooldown. Which means that you can stack Q even more. On top of that, AD is always appreciated when you're snowballing. Now again, the wave is bouncing my direction. Which means that we're going to let the wave be here for as long as it can. So that I can expand my stacks as much as I can. There you go. Whoops, I messed up. I messed up big time. So again, the, the wave is pushing my direction, which means that Warwick is going to lose a very large portion of the XP again. Which puts me even further ahead in the matchup. Especially if the cannon goes down, which it is right now actually. There you go. And we keep stacking. We got 198 stacks at 10 minutes in the game. All because we made the correct calls throughout the game. He's coming back. And now we have some fun here, shall we? There you go. GG. Do you see how easy it can be, guys? When people start roaming, you shouldn't panic. A lot of people start panicking once their opponents are roaming. Sometimes your teammates will just need to accept that your opponent starts roaming and then you snowball the laning phase because of it. Right? Not always, but most of the time. This is how we can go. 
um, specifically when playing SS2. This other champions work the exact same way. If you can get a lead one way or another, it's going to expand into a massive lead and you can snowball off of it. Uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna drop like one Q down. There you go. I've got my jungler pathing top. Hmm. Um. Well, let's have some fun, shall we? There you go. He goes down once again. Pretty good. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go for the plating. I'm just going to backport right now, okay? So, taking plates is not always the solution. Um, the wave is now pushed. Uh, it's being positioned on the right side, getting stuck. Which means that it's going to bounce my direction again. Um, that's going to result in a wave bouncing back your direction. Which means that, once again, we get to... Have the wave into the right favor, right? I'll show you what I mean. Which will result in me winning even harder right now. Alright. Hey, Vemchina, thank you for the reset two months, man. Welcome back, bro. Thank you for the resetting. Okay. Uh, 267 stacks right now. At 13 minutes in the game. Now we just stack and stack and stack and stack and stack all day. Seems like there's a Warwick involved. And another stack. I just take it because I'm Nessus. Guys, like I know some of you guys are thinking like, ah, oh, but you're 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 stealing the you're stealing it right now. But like it does not matter. I get stacks from killing him. On top of that, I'm Nessus, he's Morgana. I used to kills way better than Morgana does. So don't mind taking kills when you're playing Nasus, guys. If you're snowballing the game, Morgana is way less useful than Nasus. Uh, she's just a, a, a uh, she's a champion that stuns people. We are literally a guy who demolishes people. One versus nine. A thing such as stealing kills is not does not exist in this game. Well, he's gonna die again. There you go. This this Warwick is absolutely mega tilted. Like, he's not gonna get anywhere in this game anymore. This Warwick doesn't know what to do. If I were in his position, I'd, I'd feel the similar way. There's literally nothing that Warwick can do anymore. Because Warwick is meant to be a champion that wins the early game. But if you run into a Nasus, maxing W after Q, there is nothing that you can do as a Warwick. In literally nothing. You'll just get permastowed. Your champion is completely ineffective. On top of that, I gain a lead early on in the game. So yeah. Let's go back again. Uh, this time, we're gonna go into this one. Nice. Getting all of these ones. I really like Holdbreaker as Nasus in specific games like this one. I don't typically go Holebreaker on Nessus all the time. Um, but this game is definitely one of those where I would consider it to be a really good item. Now what I'm really curious about, is this Warwick eventually going to leave the game? I wonder because... Who's going to leave their rank game, right? Let's find out. Because everyone else... Okay, he's not leaving the game, okay. Let's see. Hmm. He's not giving up just yet. Alright. Staying strong. His teammates are winning very hard though. So it kind of makes sense. It's one Q right there. <laughs> It's over for him. Absolutely over.
One Q does so much damage. Hmm. Well, very well, he's dead right now. Okay, nice. So we're seven and zero right now. And we're just getting started. Was that the wave get uh, crushed by the tower so that my gate my lead is gonna gain even more? Nice. Okay. Now it's time we're going to be backing. Hopefully we're not going to get caught by a Brom, because I do think that Twitch is gonna chase me down. Yeah. All right, time to back. So next thing is going to be um, after Hallbreaker. I think that we might actually go into a Denman Split. Uh, probably will. Really solid item. Don't necessarily have to do it. We can also go into a Stone Plate. I think it might just be a Stone Plate, actually. Oh, well, this might just turn into a kill instantly. Uh, probably... Nah, can't actually get it. Oh, well, I think we might actually be able to, maybe? Yeah. Got him. Let's uh, also force the tower straight away. My TP is now on cooldown, so things will change a little. Seems like this Twitch is a bit of a problem. Wow. I got wrecked. Can I just see who that was? That's what... Okay, is that Twitch? I couldn't slow him before. Because that was perma CC'd. But I'm, I'm quite impressed, man. That Twitch did a lot of damage. Obviously, this guy has... Uh, this guy has Blade of the Room King, so it makes sense. Okay, we're gonna be um, we're gonna be adapting the place out just a little bit. I'm gonna go back top lane once the dragon is close to spawning. We'll go there. If we can in theory also go bot lane, but for some reason this Ezreal is like letting this be for what it is. Hmm. Wait a second. All right. First we'll go mid. Based off of what happens, we go ball in. I unfortunately feed away a lot of gold, which is really bad. Got another one. Hmm. Probably can't force even more, but... Whew. Okay. The life of Twitch. We have uh, we have quite a bit of scaling to do here, definitely. Oh, seems like he's aware. Hmm. Let's heal back up. Ah, we're getting perma slots. Well, we have to accept what it is. I, uh, ooh, wow. The work is inting, though. Got him. Okay, amazing. We're about to get stone played in a second. Let's grab one more wave. Alright. Uh, dragon spawns in 30. So we're gonna go back top lane. I'll be stacking things until the dragon spawns. Then we instantly go for a teleport and also, you know, buy the stone plate. Although I might actually teleport instant because these skills really do matter. They make the difference. Yeah, 
Yeah, got him. Uh, that was a very, very important teleport because if Ivern dies, that basically means that the dragon is secured. Got it. Let's grab this one too. Okay. Nice. Uh, the next item we buy is basically going to counter uh, Twitch, and that's really it. Uh, seems like we have to go back top lane. I need to buy the stone plate soon. Uh, one way how I can win the entire game is literally by going for a team fight and then hoping that Morgana is going to hit the shield for me so I can keep going. Oh, he's going to die. I think I'll eventually catch up to him. There you go. Let's grab the cannon. Include that one too. Let's go for the wave. They might actually go for me here. Alright. So, time to back. Before I might really go back though, I'm just going to grab this one too. I'm really sure that Twitch doesn't get it. What? What is going on here? Why does this guy prioritize me so much? Oh, well, gotta back off. Twitch is definitely there too. I hope he's not gonna fall for it though. Let's grab the stone plane. There you go. Uh, next thing is Frozen Heart. Uh, Frozen Heart is the perfect item versus Twitch. Because Twitch is mostly auto attack based. If I actually go for a Frozen Heart, um, he won't be that much of an issue anymore. Uh, Twitch is going barren most likely. I think they might actually do it. Yeah, they will. Uh, I hope that Victor pays attention to this moment. Well, my teammates have just ruined the game, possibly. Amazing. Hmm. Well, I think that my teammates have just ruined half of the game by dying right there. Maybe I'm wrong. They managed to save it? Never mind, there's a teleport, so it still doesn't happen. Okay. Uh, this game is going to be more challenging than I thought because um, my teammates are very far behind. Okay, got it. He gave it. I walked. Uh, I pa I led a path towards him. Let's grab the next uh, couple of waves as well. Got my TP back up. And we're good to go. Lots of stacks. I suspect they might path topside here. Hold on. So one guy is bot lane, one, and then several people are mid. Ooh, good catch. Like it. I hope that I get a shield eventually. Nope. Okay, this game is uh, more challenging than I thought, so we are winning top lane very hard, but 
we got to deal with a Silas who is 11 kills. And then we also have to deal with a Twitch who is going into, well, specifically this item. So, um, we have a lot of scaling to do. These guys are both really fed. Brahm is helping on top of that too. Um, I'll sell that one. Just get the glacial. Kind of surprising that the team fight is actually this hard, but it is what it is. Got scaling to do. No dawn comes darkness. Um, maybe Victor can save it. Maybe he can try and steal. We got two people who can try and steal. Supposed to didn't try it. As we're splitting bar lane. So again, there's not much we can do. We want to be bar lane, actually. Just the best thing we can do. As we're still splitting bar lane. These guys know about it. I don't know what that was. Sure, bro. Uh, the Warwick is dead, so technically Baron is the right call here. Oh, Victor's not moving along with them. I um, I actually wanted the Victor to move along with uh, my teammates and then start Baron, but... It's, it's whatever. Which might show. Let's grab it. Okay. Now, hopefully, it's not going to get stolen. And they both get away, actually. Really tough match. I am not gonna lie to you. That Twitch is the savior of their team so far, at least. Like, he's the main problem so far. But I think this might just be a really good team fight. Maybe, because my teammates literally just died again. Right as we wanted to make that play. Yeah, we got him slowed. Okay, nice. I don't know why, but the Twitch actually walked back into me, which is just a terrible mistake. Because I was actually able to slow him afterwards. And let's get to our... We can keep going. It's just a Warwick, man. It's just a Warwick. Warwick doesn't do that much. There you go. GG. Hey, this is Ness's top lane. Thanks so much for watching this video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.